Hey man, look, in this video I'm gonna be giving you all the best tips on how to shoot and be giving you the best jump shots in the game, some secret sauce on Unfound, how to get your goddamn hot spots, all the tips, everything you can think of. Guys, listen, share this to a friend because you can't have fun. <laughs> Your friend can't have fun if you don't know how to shoot, okay? I've been playing since the first 2K, 90 plus win percent every 2K. I can tell you, bro, I've played every mode, every competitive level. When you can shoot, you have way more fun. When your friends can shoot, you have way more fun. People have to play real ball, real basketball. When you can't shoot, everyone stands away from you. In NBA 2K24! No one guards you, bro. <laughs> In 2K22, people still weren't guarding people. So if you really play with the randoms, bro, they're not guarding you. They don't believe in your shot. So if you learn how to shoot, you could have way more fun and enjoy your time on the game. Now, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 281K.5. We're like 80 subscribers away and make sure you hit the goddamn like button. Help me get 200 likes within the first hour so we can get pushed to the algorithm. Help young swan grow. Now, firstly, secret sauce, okay? You can go test this right now, okay? There's something wrong with the game, okay? The shooting's completely broken. It's not that it's hard. It's that it's broken. It's inconsistent, right? What helped me find more consistency is putting the f the damn release speed on the lowest. I know it sounds crazy, right? You can go test this in the Gatorade. Do this to your jump shot and watch what happens. You know, get, get your release down, get your shot, right? And watch how many more times you hit the green compared to the other time. Once you get used to it, what, right? Watch what happens. It's gonna change your whole world. And that's insane. The fact that this is just more, you know, apparently, uh, I'm pretty sure if you slow down your speed, you open up your green window, right? I'm pretty sure, someone correct me down below. But it's just so insane that you do something like this and you just make the shot way more. That's just how you know the game's fundamentally like, broken like please before i get into all the jump shots i want to show y'all this right get your lethal hot zones okay 2k lab did a test right you have to at least get your hot spots before you play online get your hot spots bro it will be way easier to shoot on every build you use get your hot spots send this to a friend tell them get your hot spots stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots get them the lethal these purple hot zones you have to do the art of shooting drill i think it's open like two times a week y'all uh clarify down below and also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh anything else but you know but look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency, but you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. 
when I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. Now look, your visual cue, I like release. I say use release or push. They say release is very late and they're saying push is late. Um, I be using release and I, I like it. They saying this is uh, whatever, but whatever. Your timing, it just make sure you put it on push or release and then let, let me know how you feel about it. This is supposed to be very early. This is supposed to be early. This is supposed to be late. This is supposed to be- Don't be a hater. So we got Mike Wang's little brother speaking, dropping another diss on 2K Lab. 2K Lab, you gotta respond. You can't be getting, you can't just go ghost. Right? You better respond, do your test, whatever. We need a response. We need a diss track. Let's go, man. Let's get the community lit since the game not lit. You feel me? <laughs> Nobody really posting this whole, streaming this whole, you know, like, you know, let's, let's, let's just get toxic. But apparently the game is so good and it's selling so well. I mean, <laughs> something's not adding up. <laughs> There have been no changes made to shooting in 2K24 since the mm. ones we made at the start of season two. Mm. So as a reminder, those two changes were one, a slight buff to close shots, wide okay. open jump shots, and the limitless range badge, and uh -huh. two, removing shot timing variability due to defensive pressure. Defensive pressure, but still, okay. Now keep in mind, that's not all shot timing variability that was okay. removed, just when it was varying due to defensive pressure. Mm -hmm. And the, the, reason, the reason 2K can't even have that feature is because it can't accurately read defensive pressure. Sometimes it gives you certain defensive pressure and sometimes it gives you other defensive pressure, right? Based off the space, if someone's close, sometimes it'll give you no defensive pressure. If someone's close, sometimes it gives you a lot of defensive pressure. Sometimes it gives you a certain, it's, it's random. So then when you shoot, it's random. Do you get it? They're far away, it'll give you a random ghost contest. Sometimes they don't even tell you the, sometimes you'll be contested like a 20%, but that hole will say zero, but you know you finna miss that hole. And sometimes it just gives you random slowdowns and speed ups, even if your stamina is, you know, if, if you really got the science to the game, you realize the shooting's broke. But a lot of casual people, I love you guys. I'm casual too. I'm just enlightened, okay? They just don't know. They don't know what's really going on. They just get on, play, they uh, miss, make. Like, they don't really got it as much as they think they do. You feel me? But yeah, like 2K has to become a better game to have that implemented. And even now that they remove that, now there's still slowdowns and like speed ups, like it's still messed up. It's a whole mess. Again, there have been no changes to shooting since then. We've also seen a lot of questions about the boost for turning your shot meter off. That has not changed this year. Oh, turning damn. your shot meter off still increases your green window size. Damn, 2K lab. Same as it did when 2K24 came out. Damn. So with that said, we want to remind everyone that changes to Encore gameplay are communicated in our Discord and on our Patch Notes website, and we encourage everybody to rely on our official 2K channels for information about new updates. Don't damn. believe anything you read and hear. We're going to gameplay death. <laughs> He, he sound like he reading from a telepop prompt. He said, don't believe everything you hear. Mm. F team have been committed all year to open communication on changes like these. And if something mm. does change, you will hear it from us. He saying, stop listening to them goddamn YouTube. Here goes another shot. Like, bro, even that A speed, it don't matter. Everyone leaves you open, you know? It, and then with slower jump shots, it might not even be as slow as like you think, man. You know, compared to the other. If you like look at them frame by frame but look here's another jump shot right i'm telling you just try it everyone leaves you open do you really need the speed like that i'm telling you especially if you're not a comp player though they barely exist <laughs> i'm telling you bro if you can hit your shot you win you can make contested shots too so it don't really matter all you got to really do is be able to hit your shot if you can hit your shot, that changes everything, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. you it's crazy. Y'all think I'm playing. No, I'm not.
I'm not playing, bro. <laughs> Try it. I'm telling you, dog. Now, this is the best jump shot in the game. I'm not playing, bro. Like, seriously, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm not playing, dog. I'm telling you. Try it out. Watch what happens. I'm serious, bro. If you're struggling to hit, if you can't hit, the worse you are, the slower you got to make your jump shot, bro. The higher your ratings have to be, bro. If you can't shoot, do this. I'm Y'all might be this nigga. Do you tell me that? Bro, dog, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Just try it and watch. Like, you can see it. Go to Gatorade and you'll see. You'll see, bro. Just try it and let me know. Let me know in the comments. I shouldn't even be telling you this. They probably gonna tweak the damn shooting. I'm not playing, bro. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not playing, dog. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm not playing, bro. No, we're not playing. We're not playing, bro. We're not playing. This is another jump shot easy to hit with, and I'm not playing, bro. It might seem crazy, but I'm telling you, everyone leaves everybody open, bro. I'm so serious. Another immaculate jump shot. Look. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. I'm telling you, bro. I'm not playing no more, bro. I'm not playing with Mike Wayne. I'm going to hit my shot, bro. Someone needs to do frame data. Like, that ass. Y'all think Swan capping. I'm not capping, bro. For the little guards. I'm not capping, bro. I'm not capping, bro. Try it out. Watch. They say this is the best guard jump shot. Try this hoe out like this. Y'all think I'm playing, bro. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not playing, bro. Bro, people are struggling to shoot, bro. I be seeing the percents. If you can't shoot, dog, knock this hoe down. You feel me? Hey, if any of y'all got an 80 plus win percent, hit me up on Twitter or Discord. Especially if you got a shooting center, man. I cannot find a shooting center to save my life. Skill boost. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade. Okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Get your hot zone, okay? Get your hot zones. In my career, it will change your life. Get your hot zones. A lot of y'all can't shoot. You don't have hot zones. In every 2K, you don't have your hot zones. You struggle to shoot. Have your hot zones plus your badges. You'll be Gucci. Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything. If you, like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm going to keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.